Hey everybody, I hope y'all are doing all right. Um, so this video is in a direct response to Yana's stream last night, which I did watch um, until the end. Um, I started, I don't know the exact time, but I feel like I got a good at least two hours in. <clears throat> I feel like I got the message, you know, um, which was quite an interesting one. I don't think I've ever seen anything like that in this lifetime. So I have meditated on things very seriously and I have come to some viewpoints that I'm going to be sharing with you guys in this video and the following videos. <clears throat> First of all, you know, as regards to this, you know, relationship you know, this exchange of energy between me and her, <clears throat> you know, she brought up, you know, all these things that I'd done that hurt her. And, you know, she, you know, had a lot of leniency and just continued to, you know, like kind of just forget or forgive and hope that I'm going to do better and I keep doing it. And, you know, basically what she was saying um, was that, you know, I continued to hurt her and she kept on trying and, um, you know, I mean, essentially, it's, I, I saw no accountability of her actions, is my point. Um, yes, I've done things. Yes, I've been a fool, and I've been an asshole, and I've done all sorts of, you know, hurtful things to her. Um, those were not my intentions. I've never wanted to hurt you, Joy. Never. This thing has legitimately been very confusing to me, all right? Um, that's the absolute truth. I have not been trying to play fucking mind games to pull at your heartstrings or anything like that. I legitimately have gone between feeling like you think I'm like the Antichrist to times when I feel like I'm, I don't even think I'm God. I think I am the reincarnated, what has been called the Buddha, but there's been many other lives that I've lived as well. So, but you know, she's referring to me you know, I could be wrong, but in the video last night, you know, she talked about, um, anyway, the point that I'm trying to make, I don't want to get too deep with this video because it's just a simple message I'm trying to get forth here, is that it takes two to party, all right, it takes two to tango, you know, you put all the blame on me for this thing not working out, but I don't hear you taking any responsibility, I don't hear you taking any accountability for anything that may, that you may have done or said that, that might have hurt me, you know, because I do have feelings too, you know, um, and to be honest, apologizing, I think that there is a good reason to apologize, um, I do think that a real apology is also, you know, needs to show improvement, otherwise it's like, well, you apologize, but you didn't fucking do shit about it, so, you know, and a real good apology should be followed through with real good commitments and you know connection and reverberance for that word of apology you spoke to that person you know and but sometimes you know you keep on doing the same shit you know but continue to apologize you know continue to say you're sorry because when you continue to acknowledge your wrongs and you bring that forth and attention to that person and really put forth that feeling like i'm sorry like i, I hurt you I'm, I'm sorry like i acknowledge i fucked up here and i'm sorry like continue doing that i am a firm believer in apologizing and taking fucking the action needed to change your behaviors they work in tandem because the apology it, it acknowledges the problem for both parties and it creates um a way for the healing to begin but without an apology <clears throat> you know it can't it's things still can be mended um it's just a different order of doing things so for me, I like to apologize. I think it's good to apologize. I think there is a humbleness that comes with admitting when you're wrong and bringing that forth to the person that you've harmed and straight up telling them, yo, I hurt you. I feel like I really hurt you and, and I am sorry. I don't want to continue doing this. I'm not saying I won't ever do it again, but right now I don't want to. And I'm sharing that with you so you know that how I feel in this moment in time and also know that all things change and change is of one constant in the universe. So by me saying this doesn't mean that I'm ever gonna ever gonna do these things again it's just me acknowledging that I got something fucked up I'm dealing with and I'm trying to get through it I see it's hurting you and I'm sorry you know that's how things move in a good way that's what helps perpetuate healing you know but when you don't apologize 
Because to be honest, you haven't apologized to me for, for anything that you've said. You know, beyond your accusations of me, when we've had dealings, especially on live streams, you've ridiculed me, you've screamed at me, you've threatened my life, you've just like been a complete mockery. Like when I try to say something, you'll just like jibber jabber, like honestly, like a child, you know, and it's very offensive and disrespectful. You know, you're so big on respect, you know, what about the lack of respect I've felt from you? You know, everything that you talked about in that stream was very much in line with what I know to be victimhood. I saw no accountability for anything that you've done in your life to get you to where you are and for everything that happened to you, Joy. And I'm sorry you were molested and hurt as a child. I really am. That is some fucked up shit that I have, I don't even, I can't relate to it because I've never had that experience. I have not been molested. I have not been abused like that. I did not grow up nearly the same way that she did. You know, it's very interesting. I'm glad I got to hear it, you know, because it gave me a real good origin point for her and, and why she came out the way she came out. And it's a very different life story than my life story. You know, I had a really good childhood, you know, even in elementary school and I talk about being bullying and shit, but I always had a good amount of friends. You know, I always had fun. I didn't have to deal with, you know, really people preying on me. Like it was, there was a little bit of that, but it wasn't overwhelming. Like, I had a lot of good times, man. A lot of my self-destruction comes from an arrogance and a lack of knowledge and a lack of knowing how to truly be healthy in this world and, and do what is right and also know why the fuck I'm here in the first place. You know, a lot of it, too, was just dealing with coming here from a, a, you know, a higher vibrational realm, you know, into this lower one. There is a, you know, an influx of energies. It takes a time. Like, you're, you're built with this crazy amount of energy and passion and things, and they, they stick you in this, this school system and these foods and these TV programs, and it weighs you down. It does not resonate with who you are at all. So you're always looking for something else to fulfill that resonation. You know, a lot of times it was skateboarding or, or climbing trees or hanging out in the park or running or sports or talking or girls or friends. or Then it got into drugs. You know, I mean, for me, drugs, you know, it filled type of void that I never really felt before you know movies were close I always used to like to watch movies too because that's another thing where I could find a particular movie with a theme that I resonated with and that would help get me through and, and move things within me into a new place in space because I wasn't feeling good in the time and area that I was at <clears throat> so I'd use movies a lot too or books you know um, it's funny she brought, brings up how you know she used to be told in school to you know don't read too much joy because i've had teachers tell me that shit too you know um but to be honest i really have felt torn between whether or not this this girl cares about me um is even interested in me you know and then i've heard her use words like husband and wife and i don't know who else she would be referring to because she's paid so much attention to me um so it's like she says those things but you know, to me, if you really call somebody your husband or your wife, you know, there should be an element, a little bit of like, yo, I want to try to help you out. Like I have not felt, I've felt a slight, the slightest, slightest tinge of empathy for my situation. Very, 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 very slight. Compounded by a whole shit ton of just negativity, accusations, and blaming me for being a piece of shit and also, you know, portraying the image that I am fucking stalking you. And, and, you know, at the same time, in the back of your mind, I'm also your husband, you know, to try to deal with all those things at the same time is not fucking easy, man. So I'm sorry if I haven't met up to your, your needs or your, what you deem to be worthy. But at the same time, it's like, try to put yourself in my shoes, man. This shit has been fucking nuts. And I have not been, I've been very forthcoming with this, I have, do not have near amount the relationship experience she has. So in this situation, in a lot of ways, she's kind of the leader because I don't, I'm kind of dumb at this shit. There's other things I'm really good at, but when it comes to being with women, it's been a very, very long time with me. So I'm rusty as shit. She has a lot more experience. I know it's been a while for her since she's been in something serious, but... It's been 16 years for me, Joy. 16 years since I've even had a, somebody I can really call my girlfriend. All right, that's a really fucking long time. <laughs> so long that I really kind of gave up on the shit until I saw you. 
you know, I was like, not like totally give up, but like I'm, I stopped chasing it a long time ago. It was kind of, you know, I had a bad, I had another bad interact, internet interaction, which was not a YouTube thing. It was, it was an email thing, which may have been a scam. I don't know, but um, it was very strange, um, but it, it didn't go well, you know, and after that, <clears throat> you know, I, I kind of, you know, that's when I got into a little bit more of the internet porn. Oh, I'm getting into 10 fucking minutes. So I, I might make another video, but yeah, I'll probably make another one. All right, love you guys. Bye.